verse 8 and down. It said, When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou has been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over to the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me and search as breathe out cruelty. Verse 13, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I said, on the Lord. I want to talk about confidence while waiting. Confident while waiting. You know, most of us want what we want when we want it. And I don't think none of us have mastered the, the art of waiting on the Lord. I, I, I don't think any of us would could fall in the category of patient masters. It's just something about waiting. We don't like to wait. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, we don't, we don't like to wait on each other. Amen. Amen. So, 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 some folk, you know, I'm a little bit spiffier than Sister Taylor. And, and we getting ready to go somewhere. I try to get her 10 minute head start just to get in the car. Because <laughs> we don't like to wait. Amen. We, we like to move when we want to move. But I discovered in life, God wants us. And there are some times, there are some things that we need God to do that we have no choice but to wait. It's not a secret that there will come times in all of our life where we have to wait on God for one thing or another. But the key, I think, would help us is the mindset we have while we are waiting on the Lord. It shouldn't be one of doubt. It shouldn't be one of fear. It should be a confident assurance of knowing that God is going to work everything out and that all things work together for the good of them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Let me break it down this way. While you wait, just know that God is sure enough going to make a way. A amen. Uh, and sometimes we have to remind ourselves that, that that's why you need to get as much word in you as you can because when you're facing the storms of life and the wind is blowing at you, the lightning is flashing and the thunder is roaring, you have to remind yourself who you are and whose you are. You have to remind yourself that God is still in control no matter what you're going through or what you're facing in life, that your God is still in charge and he got the thing, he got everything under control. I, I don't care how out of control you may 
think it is in your own mindset, but God is still in charge. He's directing, he's, he, he, he's, he's programming everything to work out. And the problem is sometimes he want us to wait, and the reason we have to wait because when he comes through, he want us to know that it wasn't nobody but him that brought us through. Every time, every, every time, Every, every time I, I, that David seems to, and, and he dealt with, David dealt with the same issues and a lot more than you and I deal with. He, he, he had some family problems. We, we got family problems. Some of us don't want to face up to them, but we, some of, I, t I told y'all a long time ago, yeah, I got a messed up family. Some of y'all got some messed up families. Amen. Uh, 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 and, 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 and when we live in, in a world where friends can, can be deceitful, can, can betray you, can turn their back on you, walk away from you, we need to have something. It, it just ought to be something or somebody that we can launch on or hold on to that we can be sure. Sure. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I, I want something that I can be sure of. I, I want something that I can put all my stock in and, 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 and that, 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 I can, uh, that, that I can rely on totally and, and rest assured confidently that he's going to work it out for my good, glory. I, 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 I mean, without that, without that element in my life, without, without that in my life, I have no real reason for living. Because when I look at the hustle and bustle and the, 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 the ditch digging and the, the backbiting and all of that that goes on in this life, it's sad. And, 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 and therefore, I need something that I can be confident in that I can hold on to. David, y'all know he was, the Bible said he was a man after God's own heart, but he had, he had problems. He was a king of a nation. And when, you, when you're up front, everybody, you're a target for everybody to shoot at. Amen. A a a a whether you know it or not, uh, I I'm the biggest target in here right now because I'm up front. I I I'm in the lead role, so I I'm out front. You understand? So when you, uh, uh, he was a target for folks Sometimes you can't even trust folks in your own cabinet. Folks in your own household. They, David experienced that. I, 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 I stumbled last night. I was, I ran across. He had a son named Absalom. Absalom just done some crazy stuff. Absalom was good looking, long hair. Absalom even had one of his brothers killed. Uh, he used his father to set, kind of set it up. David was part, part of it, and, 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 and for, for three years he had to flee. He couldn't even, and when, even when David allowed him to come back to Jerusalem, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even see him. Didn't want to see his face. And Absalom just kept on and kept on. See, it's a dangerous thing when you let folk get away with evil. It'll come back to haunt you, the boomerang on you. So, so, so you, you, you remember that here. When, when, when you allow your children to get away with wrongdoing, it will come back to boomerang you. De David, he, because of Joab, he let him come back. He let him come back, but he still wouldn't have no audience with him. And, 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 and Absalom was one of those fellows that, 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 you know, he knew he was good looking. And what happened, you know, and some folks don't never give up. That's why I said the Bible's about the devil leave for a season. You're right. He ain't going to never give up. And for 40 years, Absalom stole the heart of the people. What he did, he would stand outside the gate of Jerusalem. When the people come in for David to judge something, and they, if it didn't go the way that they thought it should go, Absalom would say, boy, if I were king, I would do justice for you. Yes, sir. And you be careful about those 
especially politicians who promise you stuff. Y'all know how they do it, don't you? Absalom, but over a period of time, Absalom stole the heart of the people from David. And listen, he overthrew David. King David had to flee for his life. And Absalom took over. But you know what? I don't care. Evil is incapable. Thank y'all. Y'all all need to talk that right now. <laughs> Evil is incapable of a perfect plan. Something will always mess up. But even that David was Absalom father, even with the dirt that Absalom done, David still loved Absalom. And it broke his heart. Now, now, now what happened was when Absalom that same thing that he stole the heart with, the, 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 the same thing you use on other folk. It'll take you out. That long, pretty hair that he, it hung him. Yeah, yeah that's what happened. His hair got caught in a tree. Now, now Joab, that was, the, that was the David's general, basically. Joab had his own interest. You know, there are some folk. There are some folks that that, 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 that that appear to be with us, but they got their own agenda. All right. All right. Joab knew. <laughs> jo Joab really took a one on took that blood out. Really, he he he, he allowed it, and and, and 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 when the news came that Absalom was dead, David cried like a baby. That was his son. But watch this. In the midst of all of this, David is still saying, I got confidence in God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. In other words, even he said, even when that's what he talked about, even when my enemies come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and failed. But I see down here in the eighth verse, David starts doing a little testifying, in a sense, and a little reminding himself. And that, that time, listen, there was another time that David had, had made a, gave it an order. They went out, and while they went out, the enemy came in the back door, took all the women and children. And, 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 and when they got back, the men were so angry at David, they cried, they accused David, they were about ready to stone David. And the Bible said David had to encourage himself in his Lord, his God. Listen, my brothers and sisters, there will come a time in your life and in my life when it seems like the whole world may be against you, but you got to learn how to encourage yourself in your Lord and in your God. You know how, know who you are and whose you are, and don't let the devil in hell tell you no different. Everybody was against him. Everybody was blaming him. And the Bible said, but David encouraged himself. Amen. There'll come a time when Rep Taylor won't be around. There'll come a time when mama won't be around, when daddy won't be around, when big brother, little brother, little sister, big sister won't be around, friend won't be around. You got to learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. you got the, the world, Satan can take everything material away from you. But you got to learn how to keep your confidence in your God. In, in other words, you got to have the mindset Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus never fails. You, you got to, yeah, matter of fact, you, you got to, you, 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 you got to talk. You, sometimes you got to learn how to talk to yourself. Meditate. That's why I said, if you want to make your way prosperous and have good success, he said, don't let the, 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 the book of this law depart out of your mouth, but meditate on it day 
and night to observe and to do. And then you can make your own way prosperous and you will have good success. That's Joshua 1.8. Now, now it, 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 it repeats, uh, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, the set in the seat of the scorner, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. In it do he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit and his God abide. And you got to know every season ain't your season, but when your season comes. only way I can tell you, preacher, how do I build my confidence? Get in the word. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, a, a exercise. It's, it's a way of life. Make it a lifestyle. Like some of you got habits, bad habits. Bad habits are easy to get. Then start learning how to develop some good habits of studying, read the word, meditating on the word day and night. The word will give you confidence. Faith cometh by hearing. Hearing what? The word of God. And it, good God. My, let me tell you something. You, you need to come to church. You, you, you need to come to church. Forsake not to assemble yourself together as the custom of some have. But, 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 but you need to hear the word. But you need to study the words. You got a responsibility. You need to get in the word and read and, and ask God for understanding yourself. David says, li listen to what he says. Why, David, how is it that you can be so confident with enemies trying to eat up your flesh, breathing out cruelty, scandalizing your name, trying to take your life? How is it, David, that you can get up and tell us the Lord is your light and your salvation? Look like you're on your way out to us. But David, let, let David say, wait a minute, let me, let me tell you. He said, first of all, it ain't just now got started. He says, for a long time ago when the Lord, when, when, when the Lord says, seek ye my face, my heart, listen to what he said, my heart said, Lord, thy face will I seek. See, you got to have some resolution about God, about your relationship with God. You ought to make some resolution. You ought to determine in your mind that, 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 that I'm going all the way with you, Jesus. He says, when the Lord, when David heard the word, the Lord told him to seek his face, David said, my heart, in my heart. Now, sometimes what's in our heart, our act don't be carried out in our actions all the time. Sometimes our heart can have good intentions, but Paul said every time I would do good, Evil is present. That that I would do, I don't do. That that I, I say I ain't going to do, I end up doing. He's the old wretched man uh, that I am. Who should deliver me from the body of this death? He said, thanks be to God through Christ Jesus. Amen. So, yeah, we fall. But, but David says, my heart, I said in my heart, thy face, Lord, will I seek. You got to have a determined, made up mind in your heart that you going to you going to seek after God with everything you got. You you got to you, you got to get that in your heart, in your mind. I real I can't give it to you. That, that's kind of like that appetite. I can't give you the appetite. But now I, I sure can throw you a few vitamins. Amen. That, that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm just trying to give y'all a few vitamins to help y'all develop the appetite that you need for God's word that you might be confident in your Christian walk. When thou says, Lord, seek ye my face, my heart, David said, unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. And then watch David said, David said, hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger, thou has been my help. Now, first of all, for you to get confidence, 
in God, you've got to be able to look back at your life and see and know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God have done some things for you. And some things that nobody else could do but God. I, I tell you all the time, we, we as Christians don't never forget what God and where God have brought you from. Every Christian ought to keep what I call a faith file. A faith file. You, you know, when David, when David got ready to take out Goliath, he had to fall back on his faith file. Because right. Saul said, man, you, you too look. You, you ain't nothing but a child. Talking about going out here fighting this giant. And all of my, all, all my soldiers, they ain't going. Who do you think you are? David said, let me look at my faith file when I tell you who I am. He said, well, in my faith file, when I look at my faith file, my faith file tell me that one time I was watching over my daddy's sheep and a lion came. And I looked on the lion, and, but God let me oh, conquer that lion. He said, well, wait a minute, that ain't all. Let me look on the bee in my faith file. Bear came one day. And, and, and God delivered the bear into my hand. And, and what did that tell you? What's that got to do with this? Well, it's got everything to do with this. Because the same God that delivered the lion and the bear in my hand will deliver this uncircumcised Philistine in my hand. Well, what are you saying, Rap? I'm glad y'all asked. Whatever you're going through right now. Whatever problem you're facing right now, just look back, think back of where God have already brought you from. James Cleaver, right? I don't believe he brought me this far. <laughs> Nobody told me that the road would be easy, but I just don't believe he brought me this far. To leave me. Confidence. You might have to sing a song yeah. of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Satan throwing his fire at God said to me, I don't mind harming. I know the Lord will make a way somehow. I don't mind singing the Lord's song. Whatever it takes to, re to build my confidence level where God wants it to be. David says, he says, listen, that's what, that what he said when he said, thou has been my help. Thou has been. In other words, God, you already, you have been. And because I'm still here, because I'm still here, because I'm still holding on, because I'm still trusting in you, you've been my help, you were my help yesterday. I know one thing, the Bible says that Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever more. Preach, Leon. I, 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 I tell you something about that word. It'll, it'll start coming to you. And, and God will start. He, he's trying to tell somebody, put your confidence in me. Stop looking to the job. Stop looking to the, the, to the other folk. Trust in the Lord. David said, the Lord is my life. And the Lord is my salvation. He, he, he said, thou has been, thou has been my help. He said, leave me not. In other words, what you done, just keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> hey, hey, amen. I don't know about y'all, but that song they say, if he never does anything else, he's already done enough. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 David, David says, that thou has been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me. In other words, Lord, keep on doing what you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, listen, he, then he, he gets a little, when you start talking about it, when you start thinking about what God have already done for him, he said, forsake me not. He's the old God of my salvation. He said, but wait a minute. Lord, you even been a little better than that. He said, but one thing, because of what you have done, one thing I know, family, you can't depend on them. Yeah, 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 y'all yeah, know the song when Lee William was singing, learning to leave. He said, I went to my brother, I went to my mother. He said, he said, but then I had to go to my pastor. My pastor told me, get down on my knees. 
depend on Jesus, lean on Jesus. I, what I'm saying is, whoever you've been leaning on, you're leaning on the wrong one. Learn how to lean on the everlasting arms. Oh, 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 I, I, I can see, I, 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 I can see y'all, y'all trying to, y'all just trying to uh, sit here and look at me like I'm crazy. But I want to let you know God can say something about you. <laughs> when I think about what David is saying to him, David said, let me get a little, let, let me tell you just how much I, confidence I got in him. David said, even when my father and when my mother forsake me, and family will let you down, but David said, I'm not worried about that. He said, I'm confident that then will the Lord take me up. D -d David says that my relationship with you, Lord, is even more important than my relationship with mama and my relationship with dad. He said, when my mother and when my father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. But then he goes on to ask God to teach me thy way. Oh Lord, and I don't care how confident we are, we all still need to learn God's way. You, you know what amazes me about this Christian walk? And I don't care how long you've been walking with God. Glory, sometimes I, we think we got God figured all out. When we think we got God figured out, he'll come from a side we never thought about. Just to let us know that we can't figure him out. Our ways are not his ways. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. Just as high as heaven is above the earth is the Lord's thoughts and ways from our thoughts and ways. And so David says, Lord, I need you to teach me thy way, O oh Lord. But not only do I want you and need you to teach me, Lord, I need you to lead me. Yeah, I need the Lord to guide me each and every day. While I travel along this narrow way, the afflictions may press my soul. I'm determined to reach my goal. David says, but Lord, I don't want you to just lead me a little ways. I need you to lead me in a plain way. You see, I ain't so smart that I'm so scholarly that I can figure out the way. You see, I don't know about y'all, but I need God to lead me in a plain way. I, 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 I don't want God to put three doors there and say, choose door number one, door number two, or door number three. No, God, I need you to lead me a plain way. Just shut the other two, move them out the way. So I and just leave one open. And sometimes God has to do that for us because we ain't got sense enough. Preach Leon. Y'all go, go to sleep if you want to. My, 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 my help is already here now. So, 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 so rock a bye baby in the treetop. But, but, but I want to tell you, uh, I, I, David said, Lord, lead me in a plain path. In other words, I, I, I ain't got time, Lord, to try to figure out stuff. I'm not smart enough. So, Lord, just make it plain. If you want me to go left, just make it plain, and I'll go the way you want me to go. He said, the reason I need you to lead me in that plain path is because of my enemies. And 
listen, let me tell you, every enemy ain't wearing an enemy sign. David said, I need you to leave me on a plane, pal, because some of my enemies got on the camouflage of a friend. Some of my enemies got on the mask of family. Some of my enemies got on the mask of church members. God Almighty. Because of my enemies, deliver me not over to the will of my enemy. Oh, that's one I thank God for. I ask God for that. But you know, if your enemies had their way with you, you wouldn't be here for me to preach to you right now. I wouldn't be here preaching if my enemy had their way with me. Y'all know there's some folk that don't think you worth the salt that's put in your bread. There's some folk that don't like you just because they don't like you. They ain't got no reason not to like you. They just don't like you because they just don't like you. But David said, the reason I need you to lead me, Lord, is because of my enemies. And not every enemy do I know but you know huh? yeah that, that's what I love about the Lord I can only see to the corner but he sees the enemy around the corner yes he's a lead me because of my enemies don't 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 deliver me over to the will of my enemies um, because false witnesses are risen up against me, the kind that breathe out cruelty. And, and David went on to say, and this is my favorite verse, because I can see it in life so many times. David said, well, they blocked my path so many times. They've tried to pull me down so many times. He said, well, let me tell you, the only reason I could keep my confidence, he said, because I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh, I'm going to close right there. What, what, what would you saying, David? David said, I would give up. I would have thrown in the towel. Unless I had believed, watch this, I believed to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Amen. Since y'all don't want no preaching, I ain't going to kill myself this morning. But let me tell you, that's powerful. Because what that says to me, no matter what we're going through, no matter how rough the storm may appear to be, you ought to always be able to look and see God's hand in operation in your life. Let, let, let me say it one more time. No matter how rough it gets, how bad it gets, how high the mountain, how rough the enemies, you ought to always be able to look and see God's hand in operation in your life. I didn't say nobody else had to see it. But you ought to be able to recognize the hand of God in operation in your life. If I don't say nothing else, that's strong enough right there. In other words, when you lost that job, you ought to be able to see that God was really working it out for your good. Yeah, when folk talked about you, Call you everything but a child of God. Yeah, I know you were wrong. You messed up. But you still ought to be able to see God was using it as a tool to chastise you. To make you learn a lesson so you'll know better next time. Y'all ain't hearing me. David said, I would have fainted unless I had believed 
to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes. So what he closes on, he said, be confident in your God. Because if you can see God's hand in operation in your life and in my life, well, what does that suggest? If I can see God's hand in operation in my life, I ought to be willing to just wait on the Lord. No matter what the test, no matter how rough the road may be, I ought to be willing to wait on the Lord. I don't know about y'all today. Is there anybody in this house that's willing to wait on the Lord? The Bible says they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not get tired. Wait on the Lord. Lord, anybody waiting on God, won't he show up, won't he show out, ain't he all right, I don't know about y'all, but wait on the Lord, he will, won't he do it, he'll show up, he'll show up, ain't he all right, hey, hey, he may not come when you want him, but ain't it always on time? Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm holding on, holding on to my God's unchanging hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Y'all don't get it, but I got it. I got it. Lord, I learned to wait on you. When I wait on you, storms get out of my life. When I wait on you, ain't it all right? All, all right. Wait on the Lord. But he said, why you wait? Be a good courage. That's why I ain't going to hold my head down while I'm waiting. Amen. The world ain't got to know you wait. You ought to be courageous. Uh, act like you got it. If you ain't even got it, stop acting broke. Act like you got something in your pocket. If you're broken in a quarter. Amen. You got to be courageous. Be courage, be, be courageous. Some of us get so depressed when we ain't got no money. I don't know. I don't know about y'all. I've been broke a lot of times. Didn't know where my next meal was coming from. But I learned to wait on God. And every time he'll show up. Yeah. When he show up, he do show out. <laughs> he'll do it every time, I tell you. When he showed up, you know why I know? He showed up in my life one day. They said I wasn't going to never be nothing. But look at what God did. Ain't he all right? Hey, hey, he showed out. And I tell you what, he could have showed out on some of y'all. Ain't you so glad you ain't what the devil had planned for you? He showed out on you. When he kept you alive, he showed out on you. When he kept you going, ain't he all right? Oh, all right, yeah! He showed out on you, Papa. When he stopped you from drinking, God showed out. The devil never wanted to see you by the pulpit. But thank God, yeah! He'll show out. Won't he do it? He'll show out on us. Thank God when he show up, he can show out. Praise him. You know what? Now, 
now you know why this song is my testimony. God showed out on me, y'all. He showed out with me. Listen, they said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. They said he'll never amount to be anything. But I'm glad to say that I'm still on my way. And God knows I've been growing more and more each day. Listen. There were many started out with me. But right now, Right now, they have gone astray. But y'all know what? I'm still, I'm still holding on. Yes, I'm still, I'm still holding on to. Yes, I'm still. I'm still holding on to, to his hand. I got to say it again. They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. They said only on. He ain't gonna never be anything. Have anybody ever said that about you? But I'm glad to say I'm still on my way. And y'all know what? God knows I've been growing more. I've been growing more and more each day. There were many started out with me but right now right now they all have gone astray but thank God today I'm still I'm still holding on thank you Jesus yes I'm still I'm still I'm still holding on. Praise God, I'm still. I'm still holding on to, to his hand. I don't know about y'all. My, my, my way ain't always been easy. I've had folks to lie on me, criticize me, call me everything but a child of God. But you know what? In every situation, God always brought me through. You see, when I was young, I gave God my hand. I asked the Lord, Jesus, I need you to lead me, lead me all the way. I don't know about y'all. My road, it's been rough. The going been tough, but you know what? I ain't going nowhere. No, no, I'm out here to stay. Listen, I've been lied on. I've been criticized so many nights, Lord. I had to wipe. I found myself wiping tears from my eyes but that's all right i'm still i'm still holding on yes i'm still i'm still holding on praise god i'm still i'm still holding on to to his hand and I don't care if the whole world know about it listen church 
and I'm still alive. 